All right, I'm Bill Snodgrass. Welcome to episode 160. This is another foggy day. So I think we're gonna talk in this video, we'll, we'll play off of the weather and, and talk a little bit more about uh, our thoughts and, and confusion and those sorts of things. Sort of a foggy motif in this video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for being here. And uh, let's stick around and uh, see what happens. All right, it is 6.41 in the morning, but it is foggy like what? Are you kidding me? Uh, it's kind of cool looking. So um, I'm on my way in. I've got, I got to get some lessons set up for my computer class. And uh, yeah, that's what I got to do. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. That's a big bump right there. That's, I hit that. that there's no way. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I just shot a, I just shot a snap life video that uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one coming out. It'll be next week. It's going to be a while because I'm getting these things ahead. I'm getting my snap life videos ahead. No, really, I can barely see that, that car coming. Uh, that's a lot of fog. I'm going to turn this off. I'm actually getting to a not country road. So I'm going to turn this off. End of segment. Stick around uncertainty and fogginess and I can't even see the stop sign. Why are you kidding me? It's up there somewhere. It's close. There's a stop sign. Oh, there's the, there's the trees. There it is. All right, time to go. Well, made it. What? Are you crazy? That was some crazy, crazy fog. That's crazy fog. All right, so yeah, web class, my web is... I, I didn't mean to push that. Interesting, I never knew this, when your car alarm goes off, the the time on the clock radio blinks. I don't know why that would happen. How, how would that, that would scare away the criminals. Got that, oh, what, can't get this car, the, the, the radio clock's blinking. I can't, can't steal it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, web design class. <sighs> I, got, I, gotta, I gotta go make lessons. All right, fog and uncertainty. So what I'm thinking the direction is, 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 is kind of a, a, a run through a few ways that we can clear things up, a, a, a way that we can gain information to help us in our decision-making process, help us with our um, life choices and things like that. Just this is kind of like some some resources, and, I, and I'm sure this is not going to be people will be like, yeah, I knew that all along. But so much of life is things you already know, and then somebody gives you a, a word for it. Uh, yeah. Hey, here's so yesterday we're, we're talking about quantities in in the in the science class, the things that we measure as scientists. Scientists measure things. And um, time, we measure time. Everybody knows how to measure time. It's hours, minutes, or seconds. But what exactly is time? Go, the, the definition of time, I looked up the Oxford Dictionary uh, definition of time. I was like, yeah, that's, that, that's interesting. I don't know if this is interesting, but the Oxford definition of time is kind of, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up. Here it goes, ready? What do you think about this? There's your transition to the next scene. All right, lunchtime, and uh, I'm in my planning room. So there is a tennis match today, so I get to do the photography thing, take some pictures of the tennis match. I am going to get an aerial picture or two, we'll put the Mavic Air up, and try not to cut anybody's fingers off. That would be probably a good part of the plan. There's also probably, I think it's tonight, I think I gotta check this out. I think there's a volleyball match tonight, so I'll be also doing photography. So if you're new to the channel, I have this, this gesture that I mean for photography is this, because I don't know why, because my camera only has one shutter button, but I will say photography, I don't know. I, I, I cannot explain the gesture. So I will be doing some photography tonight. Um, volleyball and tennis there may also be a soccer match sometimes we have that happen anyway that's uh that's kind of fun uh so this vlog will probably run through the rest of the day in the evening um so we were talking about uncertainty because it was a foggy morning 
and uncertainty and how we clear that up. How do we clear up uncertainty? Well, I'm, I'm going to throw one out now and I'll talk about it later on as well. One of the things you can do, obviously, is to do some personal research. I'm going to call it personal research. And what we mean by that, what do we mean by personal research? One is, you know, Google. Yeah. So there, I, I told some kids today, I said, there's this thing called a book. And in, in the book, there's all these letters, and the letters are combined into sentences. Used to be back in the old days, you know that. Um, you'd go to the library and look stuff up. Now, now you just Google it, or or you can ask Siri. I would I would do that, except it would go off in my pocket. So you could ask Siri, um, or you could ask Google, or or Hey Google, I think that's what it's called. Uh, Alexa apparently knows a lot of things. So anyway, the first way of clearing up confusion about things. Now, I have found, I have found that in the, in the, in recent years, people don't do this. In, in people, lots of people, not just, you know, people, people at work, not people in the community. Instead of actually doing personal research, they immediately jump to the next step. And I'm not going to tell you what the next step is now. You can probably figure it out just inductively that what the next step is. But people will not take their own responsibility to take five minutes and, and go look something up. And those of you who are old as I am, you remember that you, know, you had to drive to the library to look something up. There was no five minutes to look something up. So people's, I want to say lazy because I can't think of another word. All right, so the first thing. Be responsible a little bit. Just own up to the fact that you need to find something out and be independent enough to go on the internet and Google it and, and look something up. Look something up. That's the first way. And I told you this wasn't anything that you didn't already know. But um, we're going to just kind of take ideas we already know. We're going to slap some labels on them. So the first one we're going to call is personal research. The first step in clearing up uncertainty is personal research. All right, um, get back to not being at lunch and do some things. So then uh, my computer class will be back and uh, we'll do that. So, All right, stick around. Uh, we got a lot of photography to do tonight, which yeah, you know, maybe a little B-roll to see, to just so you see the story. Uh, I, I also say, those of you who are new to the channel, I'm very careful about not picturing students in the in the vlogs because unless I have like explicit parental permission um, I won't I don't do that so you know maybe try to get something but mostly mostly not pictures of students okay that is what's happening stick around we're not done yet all right so volleyball and tennis match I got Actually, one of my um, club members, who's also one of my associate photographers, is shooting tennis. And I, um, I just finished the JV slash freshman volleyball match, uploaded all that, um, or I'm uploading that now. And I'm gonna go back and shoot the varsity volleyball. And uh, so that's, yeah, that's what's happening. So, a little bit of a hectic uh, pace, but I got, I got one more, uh, one more match to, to photograph. So um, I didn't have the 77D during volleyball season last year. Yes, absolutely. This is an, I got the ISO on uh, 12800 and it is killing it. I'm shooting at a thousand, a thousandth of a second at 12800. And the pictures, as far as I can tell, mm, looking really, really crisp and buttery and mm, yeah. All right, I gotta go back. I have got to go back. All right, so it is, it is late and uh, it's time. I, I, volleyball, they, the varsity team plays best of five. And, uh, I, I just can't, I can't get through. I took, what did I take? I don't even know. Hundreds and hundreds of pictures of the volleyball match. So, I'm gonna call it a night. I think whatever social media in your book needs, they can find something in there. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll be back in 10 hours. Yeah, I'll be back in 10 hours. So, um, it seems like I've been here long enough. Well, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. 
I'm not gonna be hanging. So we started this off in the morning with that crazy, crazy fog. And I said that I was gonna let that inspire this vlog, that it would, this vlog would be about finding your way through the fog, clearing up uncertainties. And the first thing I said earlier was to do personal research. And by that I meant, you know, go look something up. Talk about Google and, and those things called books. The second way, I've, you know, is, is to, I'm gonna call that consultation. So first thing we're gonna have is personal research and the second, we're gonna have consultation. Consult with someone older. Find, some, find somebody with gray hair who may have done things similar to what you're trying to do and ask them for help. The human is not meant to be alone in this world. We are meant to live in community. and We're, we're meant to, to share life with each other. And civilization is built by people now learning from people in the past. Imagine if we all had to reinvent the wheel every single time we needed to move something. We don't, we don't do that. We, we build on what others have done. So therefore, civilization itself declares that you as a person, when you need some help with something, when you're not sure what to do, then ask for some help. Go ask someone for help. Someone maybe who, like I said, maybe someone who has been doing something similar to what you're thinking about doing, get a help from them. We're not meant, we're not in this alone. We are in this as, as part of society, part of, of community, uh, and part of the world. So those are your two ways to clear the fog, to, uh, to make certain those things we're not sure about. Uh, Hopefully you've enjoyed this a little romp through the day, uh, romp through the day. And uh, if you did or not, if you just want to be nice, hit that like button, share this with someone else. Subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, what else? Leave me a comment, a question, a thought, a suggestion, all those sorts of things. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode.